excuse my quarantine look, but today we're making almond sheet cake. It's to die for. Half a cup of butter, one cup of water. Put it on the stove and mix till melted. Once it's melted, set it aside. Two cups of flour, one teaspoon baking soda, half a teaspoon salt. Mix those together and set that aside. In a new bowl, a half a cup of sour cream. Yes, sour cream. Two eggs, two cups of sugar. Now a teaspoon and a half of almond emulsion, but you can use almond extract. Now mix the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients. After you've done that, you wanna mix the butter and water mixture that you made on the stove. Once you mix it all together, it'll look beautiful like this. Now you're gonna take a huge cookie sheet. I think it's like 12 inches by 17 inches or something like that. Now spray that bad boy down. Pour it all in. Now hit the pan against the counter to get out any bubbles. And be extra careful when you're doing this that you don't knock the pan off the counter. Now bake it at 350, and I personally do not like an overbaked cake, so I'm gonna cook it about 10 minutes, which is actually seven minutes shy of what it suggested. Yes. When that's going, make the frosting. Half a cup of butter, six tablespoons of milk. Take it to the stove and melt it. Stirring constantly, you do not wanna burn that milk. Three and three fourths cup of powdered sugar. Yee. Now one teaspoon of almond emulsion or almond extract. Go back to the stove and pour the almond emulsion into the butter milk mixture. Cake is done and beautiful. Now pour the butter and milk into the powdered sugar. When the cake is piping hot, put that frosting right on top. It'll look beautiful just like this. Here's to getting fat during quarantine. And after all of that, all I can say is, you don't wanna make this recipe because you're gonna wanna eat the whole thing. Good luck and stay safe.